pattern shop. Today I'm gonna show you how to sew pajamas with a zip inseam. Let's have a zipper all the way along the inseam for super easy diaper changes. There is a zipper facing so that the zipper doesn't touch baby at all. So nice and comfy. On this pair I did cuffs, but it also includes an option for footies. You can get the pattern at peekaboopatternshop.com. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we can install the zipper, we need to sew the gusset pieces to the front and back inseam. So you just fold the gusset in half to find the center, and then pin the center of the gusset to the inseam. And the pattern piece has markings along the inseam to show where the gusset should end. So I've transferred those markings over and bring the end of the gusset around so that it meets up with my marked point and pin it in place. And then ease the rest of this to fit and pin it to place. And then you'll do the same thing on this other side. So I've got the end of the gusset matched up with my marked point. I'm gonna ease this to fit, put my pin in, now I recommend basting this first if you're not comfortable with gussets, just so you can make sure you catch all this fabric and you don't have any little tucks or pleats. Make sure you've got it perfect and then you can go ahead and sew it down. So on my other piece, I already have the gusset sewn in. This is what it's gonna look like when it's finished. It's from the right side, it's from the wrong side. So once we have the gusset done, we can move on to getting our zipper ready to install. You can take the zipper facing and fold it in half with wrong sides together and the long edges lined up. And then you're just going to serge or zigzag stitch these edges together so that they stay together. And then we'll be ready to hook the zipper to it. My zipper facing has the edges serged together. So now I'm ready to attach the zipper to the zipper facing. So you're going to unzip the zipper. And this pattern calls for a zipper that's longer than you actually need and that makes it a lot easier to sew because you can just unzip it all the way, move your zipper pull down to the end where it's going to be out of the way and you don't have to worry about moving it out of your way while you're sewing. So put the top zipper stop 5 eighths of an inch from the end here and just line up the edge of the zipper tape with the edge of the facing. And I normally don't even pin this. I normally just hold it down and sew it. But if you're nervous about it, you can go ahead and pin it. And we're just gonna base these two together because they'll get sewn again later on. So I'm just gonna keep working my way down the zipper facing all the way to the end. And you'll wanna use a zipper foot when you sew this step. It's a lot easier than trying to use your regular foot. So again, the zipper is longer than the zipper facing. That's fine. That's how it's supposed to be. I'm going to go base this in place. I basted the zipper to the zipper facing. Before I attach it to the pajamas, uh, you need to zip up your zipper and mark the bottom of the zipper facing on the other side of the zipper so that you make sure you get this zipper sewn in evenly. So I marked that on the right side of the zipper. We're gonna attach the right side of the zipper to the front pajamas piece. So the front pajamas, make sure you're using the piece with the lower neckline. Grab your pajamas. I already finished the inseam of these with a serger. You don't have to, it's an optional step. It does make it a little more finished. If you do decide to use your serger on the inseam, make sure you turn up your differential a little bit so you don't accidentally stretch out the inseam of the pajamas. I set my differential to 1.5 when I'm just serging a single layer of fabric like this. Okay, so I'm ready to pin the zipper in place and get the right side of the zipper. You're gonna be lining up the edge of the tape, not the teeth, but the edge of the tape with the edge of the inseam. So line up your marked point with the bottom of the inseam. My zipper is face down right now. You can see my zipper pull is upside down. And then we're gonna get the other end of the zipper tape and line up this top zipper stop 
five eighths of an inch from the end of the pajamas. And you're just gonna keep pinning this to the inseam. If you're having trouble, you can find the midpoint of your zipper and the midpoint of the inseam and match those up and then keep pinning. Make sure you have everything even. Make sure you just aren't stretching your fabric as you go and everything should fit together just fine. Now if you are having trouble matching this up, I'd go back and make sure you sewed your gusset on properly and that the ends of the gusset matched up with the marked points on the inseam. Because if those didn't match up right, you're gonna have a longer inseam or a shorter inseam than you're supposed to. So I have this all matched up. I'm gonna go sew it in place just on the inside of the zipper teeth. I'm ready to sew my zipper to the inseam. I have my zipper foot attached to my sewing machine. My needle scooted over to the left. Um, I'm just gonna use a regular stitch length. Now if you've never done a zipper before and you're nervous, I'd recommend basting this first. Then you can check to make sure it's right and that way if you have to rip it out, it won't be as painful for you. I've got everything ready to go. Go ahead and back stitch and sew this on about an eighth of an inch inside the zipper teeth. ready to sew the other side of the zipper to the back pajamas piece. So flip your zipper over, it's face down again, you can see the back side of my zipper pull right here. I'm going to line up the end of the zipper facing with the end of the pajamas. Make sure you just move the front of the pajamas out of the way. Pin this. And pin the other end of the zipper facing down here on the other side. And then just keep pinning along the inseam so the zipper is in between your facing and the pajamas. Here's my zipper right here. So I have this all pinned together. Now when I go to sew this in place, I'll do it just like before using my zipper foot, but this time you can't see where the zipper teeth are. So you're just gonna sew right on top of your basting stitches from before, because you know that's just a little bit inside your zipper teeth. So I'm just gonna go sew this and then our zipper is going to be installed. The other side of the zipper is sewn in place. So now it's time to zip this up and make sure everything is working the way it should. Here's my pajamas. Everything zipped up fine. If your zipper is catching in any place, then you probably sewed too close to the zipper. You want to go back and just scoot your stitching over a little bit in that spot. Make sure it's working fine. And then we're just going to top stitch on either side of the zipper. You'll notice I did not get my gussets perfectly lined up on this one. I'm not sure what happened. All my stripes line up though, so that's a win. And the legs line up on both ends, so that's the important thing. If your gussets are not perfectly lined up, I wouldn't stress it. It's not gonna show. And everything else is lined up. So I'm just gonna top stitch this and then the zipper is good to go and you can finish up your pajamas. I've switched back to my regular presser fit to do the top stitching. I just find it easier. It seems like I have a little bit more control. You can use a zipper foot though if that's your preference. I'm using a long straight stitch to do my top stitching. 
So I have my zipper unzipped, that way the zipper pulls out of my way and I won't accidentally sew over the zipper facing. Okay, so that's one side done. I just need to do the other side. This is the side with the zipper facing. I'm going to scoop my needle over to the left. The last step of our zipper installation is it's time to shorten the zipper. I've got a couple extra inches. Depending on your zipper length, you may only have an inch of extra zipper or you may have several. So zip up your zipper. Make sure you zip the zipper. Otherwise, you're going to lose your zipper pull when you shorten it. And then you're just going to sew a new zipper stop by hand. So get your needle and thread. And you're just going to sew over the zipper tape. I normally do this about five times. And I like to double my thread when I do this. We so don't have to sew over it as many times. Tail stuck here. Okay. Just gonna go over this a bunch of times. Create a new zipper stop. That way when you unzip the pajamas, your zipper can't come falling off at the bottom of the zipper. So once you're satisfied that you've got a good zipper stop, you can even, you know, test it out if you want. Make sure that's not going anywhere. You want to tie a knot on the back side of the zipper. Just flip it over. Make sure you don't get your zipper caught in your thread. Okay. Tie my knot. And we just need to shorten the zipper. We've got our new zipper stop. Trim all your threads. I like to shorten it using pinking shears just because it'll keep the ends of the zipper tape from fraying, but you can use regular scissors too. I'm just going to chop that off and you're all good to go. So to finish your pattern, you're going to be doing sleeves and a neck and then the bottom of your pajamas here can be finished with either feet or cuffs and the pattern will walk you through all that. But here's our nice zipper inseam. You can see that taken shape here. You've got the hard part of the pattern done. Hope you enjoyed it.